What's good, y'all? Shout out to the notification gang for hitting the like button. If you didn't start yet, y'all the realest ones in it. I appreciate you anyway. Loss of Pippin, man. For everybody that don't know, Loss of Pippin is uh Scotty Pippin's ex-wife, right? Um, and it, again, if assume we don't follow basketball, but you know, a lot of people know Scotty Pippen, Michael Jordan, they had their little uh heated moments or tit for tat, whatever y'all want to call it. I'm not too sure. Um, so that's what this whole thing stems from. I wanted to cover this video over a year ago, but I was like, man, I ain't, I ain't got time for this, bro. Like, it's just something that's not going to last. No, I'm, I'm honestly surprised it lasts as long as it did because I thought it was going to last longer than six months. But um, I'm thinking to myself at that time, something that's not going to last too long. It is what it is. Here now, it's going to be going by three months when I end up going to do a video on it, but here I am. So let, let, let's get into it, man. Uh, shout out to me. Shout out to Ken. First of all, shout out to Mason Cameron. Shout out to It Is What It Is podcast. I should have been said this. Uh, I'll make sure to tag their channel. And all that good stuff, man. Uh, got a lot of love for Cam. Got a lot of love for Mace. Them two boys is killing it. Very, very happy they was able to squash their beef and come together and build this, um, build this brand. I was gonna say podcast, but build this brand. So shout out to shout out to Mace. Shout out to Cameron. Shout out to it is what it is podcast. Uh, Mace blasts Larsa Pippen for taking advantage of Marcus Jordan, who was Michael Jordan's son. Uh, Marcus Jordan amid breakup. Larsa, comma, you gotta stop this. You are not 21. Let's get into it, y'all. Marcia Pippen and Marcus Jordan have called it quits after a year of dating. They both unfollowed each other and wiped pictures of each other off of their social medias. And then Larsa posted a little quote on her story. She said, the man you choose to be your partner affects everything in your life, your mental health, your peace of mind, your love inside you, your happiness, how you get through tragedies, your successes, how your children will be raised, and much more. Choose wisely. What? <laughs> what? How dare she have any rebuttal for taking a man 16 years younger than you and act like he's the problem? You're the adult. You. What are you talking about? <laughs> I, I'm definitely not the one should be talking about this because I'm I'm super insensitive on this topic. Just thinking about this, uh, I don't even need my notes for it. How you ain't you Scotty's ex-wife? Now you mad with Scott the Pippins and the Jordans? Crazy. You got no future in Chicago. I hope you know that. <laughs> You mad with Batman and Robin <laughs> and now baby Batman? What's going on, Larsa? Oh my goodness. This is this is embarrassing. This is this is really embarrassing. And allegedly is this kind of behavior that could make it troublesome even for your son playing basketball. So you heard a lot of things with your behavior. We don't know what Scotty did. We're not put, letting Scotty off the hook. You got Scotty walking around here looking like the future with, with dreads and black Nike ears. I don't know what's in your box, but listen, we're praying for the Pippins. We're praying for the Jordans camp. You say something about this because I take him off the gram. How dare you erase his pictures? <laughs> That's the only reason we're talking about this. <laughs> and real quick, man, just to, to piggyback, yes, yeah, sir, he's right. But to piggyback off what he just said, what did he just say? You, that's the only reason we're talking about this. Uh, Mace, I wouldn't even piggyback off that and go as far as to say, this is, excuse me, this is the only reason we're talking about you, ma'am. Larsa Pippen, this is the only reason we're talking about you. This was a chess move. This wasn't no accidental type thing. We all know the 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 rift or the whatever y'all want to call it, the misunderstandings between uh, Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan. Why would you date that man's son? You know your hus ex husband don't like this man. And ladies, for the lady for ladies that's listening and don't fully understand, this is the equivalent of you being in a relationship or married to a man, right? 10 years, 20 years, whatever. It doesn't matter. 
y'all break up and your ex-husband or ex-boyfriend, whoever, decides to go and date the girl from your job that you hate, you can't stand. The same girl that got you written up a couple times and lied on you, done ran around and stole your work, turned it in as her own, whatever, stuff like that. You're going to be sitting here looking at your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend like, yo, you had ample amount of chicks that you could have dated. Why her? Why her? The girl I don't like, the girl I can't stand. Why her? That's the same thing. It's the That's what this is going, boiling down to. And that's why we're talking about, again, Larsa Pippen. Nobody give a damn about Larsa like that. The only reason why she's able to stay relevant is because of her dating uh, Mark, Mark, Michael Jordan's son, Marcus Jordan. That's the only reason. Come on, y'all. You cannot be sick. Come the hell on. We're not doing this. You must have lost your mind. If it wasn't for what's going on between her and her dating, we wouldn't give a damn about what's, what Larsa Pippen's doing. And, and and let me say this real quick, say, a quick segue. Let me say this. Marcus Jordan didn't do a goddamn thing wrong. Marcus Jordan did exactly what any damn man would have done, which is what? Nail that wood. <laughs> I'm a 90s baby. I remember seeing her on TV. She used to come to the damn award show with them damn dresses on. I'm a 90s baby. I remember seeing her uh, late 90s, early 2000s. I was young as hell, but I was like, boy, listen, lost a food. Let me, let me let me get 15 minutes with her, 20 minutes with her. I'm waxing that ass. Oh, man, look. Marcus Jordan ain't do a damn thing. He did exactly what every damn man would have done in this situation. Which has smashed the hell out of her. She's 50 years old, you know, but, you know, it, it is what it is. We, 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 we still getting in there. <laughs> uh, let, let's keep going. And I know Jordan is sitting somewhere, right? <laughs> yeah. I would tell me. Tried to told you. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to <laughs> told, told you. It's crazy. <laughs> what was she thinking? What was you thinking anyway, dating them? Your kids grew up with this boy. Yeah. Your kids grew up with this boy. Somebody got to tell people the truth. You were already in violation talking about affecting your mental health. <laughs> you took a, you were taking, my opinion is you were taking advantage of this. You were taking advantage of him. You already took Scotty's pension. I'm, I'm going to go for, I yeah. say more because I, I, I really don't like this situation. And then going to delete all his pictures like he's the problem. Yeah, absolutely. Your mental health. My problem. mental health. And should my friends, should your friends follow your ex? All this kind of yeah. behavior. Yeah. Larsa, you're not 21. You're not Lori Harvey. You got to <laughs> stop this. Somebody got to tell you the <laughs> truth. You're not Lori Harvey. My goodness, and, exactly. and for all of the Pippins, I know that's your mom's, listen, but sometimes we find out about our parents and we don't like what we find out. <laughs> I found out things about my parents I may not like, but they're still that's, my parents. That's a fact. Stop embarrassing your children, allegedly. Sound like me today, man. I only, <laughs> I only got five <laughs> words to say, man, for, for the, the people, not even the people. Don't be the next sucker. It's lollipop season, boys. Because she'll find another one. Yeah. Yo, come on now, Mace. So hold on. It's what season? Nah, we we can't we can't let <laughs> Mace. Hold on, bro. That was that was that. Hey, yo, that was crazy. All right, we gonna we <laughs> what this man said. He said it's what season? The next sucker. It's lollipop season, boys. She'll find it. He tried to pause it. No, bro, you can't. <laughs> Another one. Yeah. Uh, all, mental, all I got to say is. A uh, mental health. You young niggas, she praying on y'all. Don't be the next sucker. <laughs> That's the high point. Don't be Get the that next t -shirt. sucker. Yeah. I need that yeah. on my hoodie. <laughs> yeah. Don't be, be the, the next, next sucker. Don't be the next sucker. Don't be the next sucker. Bro, at, at the end of the day, man, uh, I'm telling y'all right now, and assuming Marcus, I, I don't know. Was he trying to cuff? Was he trying to take her serious? 
Was he trying to put a ring on her? I would hope not. I would hope not, because lots of Pippen them been around. Larsa Pippen been around. So it's kind of like, God damn, bro. Like, what's what's going on? What's what's happening? Listen, again, like I said, man, Marcus Jordan did nothing wrong. He did what every damn man would have done in a situation. And we waxing that ass. We 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 spread we spreading that asshole. Oh, oh yeah, we stretching it out. Facts. We all in them guts. Facts. Ain't playing no games. But cuffing, nah, bro. We we ain't doing that. Nah, we ain't doing that, bro. I'm a 90s baby, bro. And that's the thing. When we when you grow up, see, this is my opinion. When you grow on up, a child seeing your childhood crushes, such as, you know, like Larsa Pippen, such as, you know, Angelina Jolie and, and, and Angela Bassett, uh, Lynn Whitfield, uh, you know what I mean? I, you know, R R Regina King. You know, when, when you see all them growing up, when, when, when you're young, when you're growing up, when you're growing are you able to shoot your shot with them and land? It's a difference. I was young as hell when I wanted Erica Badu before I found out she was crazy. <laughs> but I was young as hell. Let Erica Badu walk up in here and, and, and bend that ass over. Hey, I got to take one for the team. I'm sorry, y'all, boy. I had to. I've been watching her since I was in elementary. I had to. <laughs> so I understand it from a different perspective for Marcus as why he did what he did. Again, was he trying to cuff? I don't know. Ring on her? I don't know. But I will sit there and tell you, as far as this situation goes, it's a bit scary. I'm not going to lie. It's a, it's a bit scary because it's just like, bro, you could have accidentally gotten her pregnant and then it was a wrap from there to be sitting up there up, up, up under Larsa or on top of Larsa. <laughs> uh, maybe I'll think differently, man. I want you to comment down below. Let me know what you thought about this video, man. Thanks for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't hit the subscribe button, man, also do hit that bell so much can tell me upload notification will pop up and alert you. Also, too, make sure you hit that like, make sure you hit that share. I look forward to reading all your comments, if any. So until next time, please, man, we separate. Uh...